Brother William Campbell spoke about Solomon's death. Surah Sabah, chapter 34, verse number 12 to 14, and said that, imagine a person standing on the stick and he dies and no one comes to know, etc. There are various ways to explain. Point number one, Solomon, peace be upon him. He was a prophet of God. And it can be a miracle. When Bible says that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, could give life to the dead. Jesus Christ is born of a virgin birth, which is more difficult to imagine. Being born of a virgin birth, giving life to the dead, or standing on a stick for a very long time. Which is more difficult? So when God can do miracles through Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, why can't he do a miracle through Solomon a.s.? Musa a.s. parted the sea. He threw a stick, stick became snake. Bible says that, Quran says that. So when God can do that, why can't God let a man rest for a long period? Anyway, I give him various different answers. Nowhere does the Quran say that Suleiman A.S. rested on the stick for a very long period. Nowhere does it say. It just says that animal, maybe some say ant, maybe other animal of the earth came and bit. Maybe possible, maybe, that Suleiman A.S. was just dead and any animal may have shook the stick and Suleiman A.S. may have fallen down. But I assume, I use the conflict approach with the Quran. Because irrespective whether you use the conflict approach or the concordance approach, the ayah I quote in the beginning of my talk, Surah Nisa chapter 4 verse 82 says, Afala is the Burun al Quran, Walaukana min in the Gerilla, Lavajudi Fiktilaf and Kasira. Do they not consider the Quran with care? Had it been for anyone besides Allah, there would have been many contradictions. Irrespective whether you use the conflict approach or the concordance approach, if you are logical, you will not be able to take out a single verse of the Quran which is contradicting neither a single verse which is against established science. I agree with Dr. William Campbell that Suleiman Salam stayed for a long time. The answer is given the same verse that after Suleiman Salam fell down, the jinn said that if you would have known that Solomon, peace be upon him, died, we wouldn't have toiled so hard, indicating that even the jinns don't have ilme gab. They don't have knowledge of the unseen. Because the jinn thought themselves to be very great. So Allah is teaching them that even they don't have in Megab. 